गुड आफ्टरनून बच्चो वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट कन्फर्म ऑडिबिल एंड विजिबिल आई कैन सी बट ऑडिबिलिटी यू हैव टू कन्फर्म कन्फर्म ऑडिबिलिटी हा लाइव क्लास ऑफकोर्स एनर्जी कैन बी ट्रांसफर्ड इन लाइव क्लास दैट इज ऑलवेज यूजफुल अदरवाइज टेल मी द लास्ट थिंग दैट वी हैव डन in the live class the last thing that we have done bachcho the topic that we have completed so so far tell me not also not disturb the class because we have now changed the battery okay bachcho so you are saying that andaru notes rest good of good afternoon platy helminths in that digenetic parasite okay type of parasite digenetic parasite where we have two type of host primary and secondary host now why this is strategy so that the primary host will not die the primary host can sustain this parasitization so they have got a manufacturing unit as well at the same time you no know, not only one manufacturing unit they can keep two manufacturing unit also like polyembryonic multiple embryonic form and in this phylum particular in this phylum i'll give you an example of multiple embryonic form like there is a obligate parasite obligate human parasite called fasciola hepatica fasciola fasciola hepatica fasciola hepatica now <clears throat> there is a primary host so primary host primary or definitive host so it can be uh, like uh, it can be cattle primary host can be cattle it can be goat goat or sometimes sheep but humans are also accidental host right so humans can also humans are obligate okay so it is not compulsory that it will only do in cattle it can do in any of these and hu in human also inside the human body also it can multiply okay so this is about the uh, we are talking about fasciola hepatica okay done uh, now the intermediate host it, it has got multiple intermediate host two intermediate host it has got okay so the first intermediate host is a snail and the second intermediate host is a fish right so it has got two intermediate host it has got two intermediate intermediate host intermediate host is also called the secondary host secondary host intermediate host secondary host and primary host the it is the main host also called for the main we use a word definitive definitive it is the main host and what is so special Uh, that we are calling this as a primary host tell me what is so special that we are calling the human or we are calling cattle goat sheep these are the primary what is so special human liver fluke done okay sexual reproduction durga prasad ji you are right that here is sexual reproduction very good so sexual reproduction is uh, occurs in any of these therefore we are calling them as the primary host and asexual reproduction occurs in snail and in fish 
so one of the larval stage enter into the sail and the other larval stage enter into the fish so here we can say that it has got multiple embryonic forms multiple embryonic multiple embryonic forms multiple embryonic forms so very important point please note down multiple embryonic forms in case of fasciola hepatica now ncert says it is a human uh, liver fluke but humans it is a obligate parasite obligate means not compulsory that it will only do in human no so human it is a obligate endoparasite obligate obligate means not compulsory not compulsory it is an obligate human endoparasite i am endoparasite i am refraining myself from using certain terms which are just at least you can remember this much and you are done okay very good but so uh i told you about the other features uh you know this these are endoparasites most of the members are uh, endoparasites in different animals and including humans so humans again humans are accidental host accidental means by chance humans can also uh, become the primary host okay otherwise other animals it is parasitizing not only fasciola but other you know others also right <clears throat> some parasitic adaptation so parasitic adaptations parasitic adaptation is one that already we have discussed that it has got more than one intermediate host it has got more than one intermediate host more than one intermediate host intermediate host so as to facilitate the parasitization of so as to facilitate so as to facilitate parasitization of its primary host right uh, i'm not writing the whole line but i will write the page number from where you have to learn this line uh, it is page number 235 page number 235 and if you are using the new ncrt uh, the okay this is uh, ncrt ncrt class 12th okay and uh, if you are using this is a old book the already in circulation but in the new circulation the new book page number 199 page number 199 an important statement okay an important statement that uh, <clears throat> some parasites have more than one intermediate host so as to facilitate parasitization of their primary or definitive host now so that not all burden can be put on the primary host and uh, that's how all these hosts can survive no doubt their uh, their life is highly uh, uh, harmed but at least they survive and the parasite also survives because beta if the host uh, become extinct the parasite also become extinct can you tell me what type of extinction do you uh, know what term we use when two uh, species two different species become extinct together what is the term for that very easy very easy what is the term for that when two species become extinct together if one of the mutualist coextinction very good you are right sajid hasan coextinction very good coextinction if the mutualist okay mutualist uh, one of the mutualist member become extinct the other member also become extinct right so this is you know they keep more than one and being obligate so that if this guy become extinct at least they have other homes to live so how strategy for survival this is and for our need also we have to learn that other strategies for uh, which is uh, you know parasitic strategies like it does not require special sense organs now what sense organs do sense organs do two function number one it help in finding out the food right so finding out the prey or finding out the food sense organs help number two it also help to escape from the danger to escape now these guys are endoparasites right they have already chosen places where uh, you know no parasite no predator is coming so there is no harm of being preyed upon they can live easily right so sense organs are highly reduced in parasites general 
in all parasites, including endoparasites, which are flatworms. Uh, so, number one, sense organs are highly reduced. Plus, they absorb the digested nutrients. And the function of the digestive system is digestion of the food. And they are already absorbing the digested nutrients from their body surface. Do you think that is there any requirement of the digestive system? Yes, it is not. Therefore, the digestive system is also reduced or poorly developed in flatworms. You are understanding? So, point number one, more than one primary, you know, more than one secondary host. Okay. So, number point number two, they don't have uh, two, uh, you know, uh, fine sense organs or advanced sense organs. They don't require sense organ. Their digestive system is also very much reduced to so and so that in case of tinea, tinea, there is it that elementary canal is absent. In tinea, elementary canal is absent. Okay, but so on one page you can write down parasitic adaptation. You can write down the parasitic adaptations, parasitic adaptations of flatworms, of platyhelminths, platyhelminths. On one page you can write down the parasitic adaptations. Now this is not a, it is not an answer. It is not an essay that someone else will read and give you marks. This is your own understanding and if required, for your own revision. So you can just write down the keywords. You can just write down the keywords, okay? For example, the first thing is that they have got primary host and secondary host, okay? Sometimes they can have one primary, of course, and uh, more than one secondary. Here you can give example as uh, fasciola, okay? Just write down fasciola. And fasciola the fluke it belongs to the class trematoda trematoda please note down it belongs to the class trematoda it belongs to the class trematoda trematoda again page number uh, same page number trematoda mentioned on page number 235 or 199 this is given on page number class trematoda okay done so number two is that their sense organs, sense organs are highly reduced. Their elementary canal, elementary canal is poorly developed. Okay, just poorly word can remind you everything. And here you can write down in tinea, tinea, elementary canal, elementary canal is absent. See such these keywords. I'm damn sure that whenever you see them. Everything come in your mind fresh. Every, the whole story, the whole class will play it in your brain, okay? So this is the short notes or actually notes are, right? We have to be very smart, okay? Uh, we have to be very intelligent and smart. These are not to be written for some other person and therefore minimum, minimum words or letters should be used. More and more symbols should be used, right? So that it takes lesser time and you can complete them faster. But it also helps you to enumerate points like that. So you, we have enumerated parasitic adaptation at one place. We have enumerated that hooks and suckers. Hooks and suckers are present in this phylum. Now, uh, one or two years back, I was seeing one boy and, uh, you know, as I explained them, most of the students follow this. So I have seen he has followed this and he has written hooks and suckers. Okay. And here it has written, here it is written hookworm. Okay. Hookworm. So I just saw the notes and I just told him that, but no, no, no. Hookworm is not a flatworm. It is a, a nematode. He said, yes, yes, sir. I know. I know. I know. Actually, sir, I make a mistake. Once I made a mistake that uh, hooks and suckers are given here and hookworm, ankylostoma is given. So I thought that this is a platyhelminth. Hookworm is actually an acetylminth. So just to remind me that yes, hooks and suckers are mentioned here. That does not mean that only they have hooks and suckers. Even some roundworms have hooks and suckers. I said, yeah, good. 
so that you know that is the beauty because if some other person will read he will find it is wrong but it will help that particular student okay so minimum thing and this is actually your your prescription your treatment as prescription or treatment for every person is different he had this particular disease so he has written the solution for that he has written the uh, you know the remedy that he is actually mistaking hookworm in uh, platyhal means but hookworm is a Rahul worm, very good, very intelligent, right? So these are the parasitic adaptations, some of the parasitic adaptations in platyhelminth, which is given in one sentence in our textbook. So flatworm, flatworm, the first phylum to have uh, triploblastic. <coughs> Already we discussed triploblastic, the first phylum, which is uh, having the mesoderm, and there is no space in the mesoderm, so they are acelomates, acelomates, and they are bilaterally symmetrical. So triploblastic acelomates bilaterally symmetrical. Triploblastic acelomates bilaterally symmetrical. Uh, so this is something which appears for the very first time. Triploblastic nature, they are acelomates. That means the mesoderm does not have any space and bilateral symmetry. This appears for the very first time. And triploblastism is, I mean, the mesoderm as a germinal layer also appears for the very first time. Okay, but you? Okay, then what else we can think of about them? Yes, their excretion. Excretion is by flame cell. Excretion by flame cell. And flame cell belongs to proton ephridia. Just remember, flame cell, flame cell, which is a proton ephridia which is a protonephridia, protonephridia, the category protonephridia, and uh, we, gave, we give the name flame cell. So whenever this flame cell term comes, this is used for platyhelminths, phylum platyhelminths, okay, Vachyo? right? Very good. Okay, now you can also uh, write down that they have got incomplete digestive system, they have got incomplete 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 elementary canal incomplete elementary canal because of single opening because of a single opening the same opening can act like a mouth and the same opening can act like an anus right elementary canal is present but that is incomplete incomplete elementary canal but so hope you are going with me all points are understanding this is closed here and only open here. So we can say that they have got incomplete elementary canal. And this type of body plan, what do you call this type of body plan? This is called blind sac body plan. This type of body plan can be called blind sac body plan. This is called blind sac body plan. Okay. Blind sac. Blind sac body plan. This is called blind sac body plan, right? So it is just like a sac like, okay. Uh, and also blind because closed at one end. So we can use the word blind sec, blind sec, body plan, body plan, body plan. Okay. Anything else, especially about the uh, flat, uh, flat worms, which is not there in the uh, in the previous phylum? Yes. Uh, internal fertilization. Uh, it is an important point. But uh, even Porifera has internal. Uh, yes. So never forget internal fertilization and indirect development. Which one? Internal fertilization, they are hermaphrodite. They are hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. Okay. Yes, important point. Internal fertilization. Internal fertilization. And uh, they have got indirect development. Indirect development. Indirect development. Okay, but you? Well, <clears throat> One name you can note down, planaria, 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 planaria. This is a free living form. It is a free living form, not a parasite. And this is used in uh, experiments, okay? So experiments on regeneration, regeneration capacity. So power of regeneration of planaria is very high. Scientists can cut it into pieces and find that all pieces can 
further grow into a complete organism okay so very high very good they have very high power of regeneration very good so uh, for for experimental demonstration of regeneration planaria is used is it a parasite no beta planaria is not a parasite okay so this is a special point you can see that from one paragraph how many points we have taken out how many points we have taken out from one paragraph and that is for a teacher who has read that paragraph so many times and he can also relate he can relate uh, this thing to here he can relate here okay he can relate the snail and also fish which is not given here but it is given in the organism and population in parasitism and he can relate that he this question can come okay multiple embryonic forms because different larval stages are there which are entering into this okay mira cdm radia cercaria metacercaria like that so it is called polyembryonic uh, multiple embryonic forms so i hope you understand how much points we can and this is blind sac body plan incomplete digestive system blind sac body plan and hermaphrodite internal fertilization and indirect development now internal fertilization is generally something very special in basic animals right because the gametes has to go inside the body and inside the body uh, the fertilization occurs so it's you know, the process is very very unique uh, moreover they are hermaphrodite moreover they are hermaphrodite so from the same body gametes are meeting at one place inside the body and fertilization is occurring inside the body examples examples already we have given example uh, of trematoda uh, a trematoda parasite called fasciola hepatica tinea okay so tinea is actually a uh, tapeworm one more example you can just give tinea different type of tinea this is a tapeworm tapeworm question now answer this question which of the following which of which of the following which of the following has uh, incomplete incomplete elementary canal which of the following has incomplete elementary canal and your options begin here okay one is tinea solium tinea solium it is a pork tape worm okay then i can give here uh fasciola fasciola ola uberola fasciola hepatica fasciola hepatica liver fluke hepatica liver fluke tinea another tinea you know tinea saginata saginata or saginata this is a beef tape worm and uh, well enough and all of these come on answer this question let me see who can answer this question correctly please tell me the answer vijay uh, says all of these uh, shruti says two very good deepthi says two i will just say because many people are saying all of these shriram says two manish challa says two and uh, sajid hussain also says two manisha also says two option two is correct okay and uh, preeti says two and sanjana reddy also says two bindu says two yes you are right bachcho you are right perfectly correct fasciola hepatica this is having incomplete elementary canal fasciola hepatica having incomplete elementary canal why 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 because they don't have elementary canal okay here elementary canal elementary canal is absent here also absent elementary canal is absent when something is absent how come we can keep in uh, incomplete incomplete means that the tube has only one opening now if there is no such tube present how can we can keep it in that answer incomplete means that it has got one opening for ingestion and ejection right so your right answer is to very very good and uh, many of you i have taken the name and now many people are saying kavita uh, manisha says to preeti says to 
uh, Bindu also said Joshna says to Le Lechana, CH Lechana says to Dhanvi to Akash also says to Uday says to and uh, Kavita says to Tinia elementary canal is incompletely uh, completely absent. Yes, Shiram, you are absolutely correct in saying that in tinea, any tinea, solium, seginata, any tinea, it is totally absent. Therefore, answer can only be two, fasciola, hepatica, very good. So that's all about the platyhelminths. Yesterday also we have discussed about the platyhelminths, but and today also I have discussed about the platyhelminths. Let us start eschelminths, okay? All of you. Learn the ask helmet, uh, ask helmet in such a way that you don't require it to do it next time. Okay, so whenever you are doing, do it in such a way that maybe you don't get a time to revise it again, and you can, you know, just uh, store it in your hard disk, in your brain, in a very proper way. Ask helmets, ask helmets. Let us see how many points you can take out from one paragraph. Ask helmets. Okay. The, this is the first phylum to have certain things. For example, they have got organ system level of organization. Organ system grade of organization. Organ system level. Okay. Up till now, we have organ level in the previous phylum, organ level. But organ system grade of organization. Okay. Uh, yes, it is triploblastic. It is triploblastic. Triploblastic. But here also, coelom mm, is not a true coelom. Uh, we can say they have a pseudo coelom. And let me tell you very, very honestly, for most of the questions, this particular fact, pseudo coelom is enough to give the correct answer. You can identify by pseudo coelom that it cannot be any other animal in the entire animalia. If pseudocelum is there, it means it is a round worm. It means it is a round worm as Kelmig. Okay. So organ system level, triploblastic and uh, pseudocelomates, pseudocelomates, pseudocelomates. Okay. Uh, what else we can think of them? What else we can think of them? Uh, yes. The first time they have a complete elementary canal, complete elementary canal. And because of that, okay, so there is an elementary canal which is uh, complete. Inside the tube is complete. And uh, outside, so outside tube can be imagined, okay. So we can say that uh, outside tube is also there, okay. This is an animal. So you can see that there is, there is a tube inside and tube outside. A tube inside and tube outside, okay. If you want me to make it very simple, <clears throat> I can make it a straight one. So elementary canal is a white color uh, tube and I can show by some other color. I can show by green color the body wall. You can see. So now you can imagine what I'm trying to say to you that there is a tube within a tube body plan. There is a tube within a tube body plan. Okay. Okay. Now. So there is an outer tube and there is an inner tube. First time, tube within a tube body plan. This type of body plan is known as tube within a tube. It is, can be called as tube within a tube. Tube within a tube body plan. Body plan. Okay. Meanwhile, let me see who can first answer the type of body plan in platyhelminths. Type of body plan in platyhelminths. Quick, who can answer first time? Uh, I know some lag is there. Blind sec. Yes, Preeti, your answer is correct. Uh, in uh, in platyhelminths, they have got blind sec. Yes, Sajid, blind sec. Manish Challa, blind sec. Manisha, blind sec. Okay, very good. And Preeti has given the correct answer. Very good. Gauri, Priya, correct answer. Kavita, correct answer. Shruti, correct answer. Monica, correct answer. Very good. And uh, so this is a body plan. Compare the body plans. What else? Some very important point. Now, there is a mouth, there is an anus. A mouth and anus and there is an excretory pore. Excretory pore is also present. 
you understand so there is a mouth there is an anus so there is a separate opening mouth anus plus an excretory pore which is actually the opening of excretory tube this is the opening of excretory tube right so excretion is through a tube excretion is through a tube and we call that tube as excretory tube and the opening of excretory tube is called a pore okay a separate pore excretory tube excretory tube this is something special okay no special same protonephridia same basic type basic design of excretory uh, system basic tube like okay with a separate opening mouth separate opening separate opening for excretion excretory waste and separate opening for anus okay then you should know coming to the reproduction a very important point the first time we have got dioecious animal okay so dioecious first time dioecious first time sexes are separate okay so two thing number one sexes sexes are not only separate okay they are also distinct there is a dimorphism dimorphism you can make out you can differentiate male and female by just seeing them you can differentiate male and female just by seeing them in s helminths in most of them right i'm not saying it's a rule but in most of them the males are shorter than the females the males are shorter than the females okay so the, these are the females and these are the males where their end is curved okay ye jo end hoga na male mein ye curved hoga yahan par the end is curved and uh, there is a pineal spicule and of course they don't have a penis right in such a basic form you cannot expect a separate penis but there are some pins which can help in internal fertilization okay so pineal spicules are there so fertilization fertilization is internal internal fertilization internal internal fertilization i still remember my teacher i still remember my teacher he says that in case of non chordates both the worms flat worms and round worms both the worms fertilization is internal i still remember uh, you know the the teacher and you know you start imitating your teachers when your teacher says like that you also try to you know become like that okay so you start you have some element of your teacher still alive in you so he used to say this thing in non chordates both the type of worms flat worms round worms internal fertilization fertilization is internal now first time we can see that now the development okay development kya hoga it can be generally we know it is indirect but here it can be direct direct or it can be indirect first time it can be direct or indirect development so this is about the uh, uh, eschelminthes the two pages i have written about the eschelminthes let me revise very quickly they are the round worms they are round in cross section organ system grade of organization triploblastic pseudocoelomates and uh, they have a complete elementary canal and because of that they have a tube within a tube body plan okay so they have a tube within a tube body plan i just wanted to draw this diagram so that you understand that it is not necessary that only round worms can have tube within a tube the body plan okay so tube within a tube it is a body plan even we also have a tube within a tube body plan but we don't look like a tube in fact i look like a drum okay <laughs> my outer body look like a drum okay and uh, we have a tube inside and 9 meter long okay so it is not necessary that only round worms have body plan is the same body plan that the purpose i made that like that diagram okay right now coming to the excretion excretion uh, is through the excretory tube and uh, they have a separate excretory pore 
and the mouth and anus are separate thing. And the one thing also you should note down that they have a muscular pharynx. Muscular pharynx. Muscular pharynx. Okay. I'm now giving you very important point. Everyone listen to me very, very carefully. I will not write anything. I will only say after making this, I will say to you. When you open the NCRT page, all that which is given in bold is very important for examination. And muscular pharynx is given in bold font. Everything that is given in bold font is important for examination. You just see that you are a teacher and you have to make a paper. Okay, so you just open the paper. And now you are thinking you are left with one question. And you want to you you want to give a question on let us say escalmentis, and now you see okay escalmentis uh, muscular pharynx. I will say pseudocilum so everyone know it's a very easy one. I just let go a little higher than that because pseudocilum it's everyone know. I will write it. Someone want to go a little higher? He will give diocious muscular pharynx diocious. These points are given in bold fonts. So everything which is given in bold font is important. Most important, I should say. Even then, whatever we think of, it is the most important because it is a human instinct to just because there's a mind go first on that point and we make a question out of that. Okay. So muscular pharynx and diocious, these are the two very important points. Muscular pharynx, diocious. Muscular pharynx, diocious. And no doubt, pseudocelomate is a very easy one. Pseudocelomate is a very, very easy one. Okay. And now they can be, they can be aquatic, they can be terrestrial, they can be parasitic. Some of them are parasitic also. Some of them are parasitic. Some of them are parasitic. Achha, when they are parasitic, okay, they can be parasitic on plants and animals. They can be parasitic on plants as well as on animals. On plants as well as animals. Okay? Animal endoparasites, Ascaris, you know that Ascaris, common roundworm, Ascaris, lumbricoides, Vukereria, okay? Vukereria, Vukereria. Uh, Vukereria bancrofti and Vukereria malai. These are the two uh, common uh, filarial worms. It is a common round worm. This is filarial worm and ankylostoma. Ankylostoma duodenale. What is the common name? This is a hookworm. This is a filarial filarial worm. This is a common round worm, common round worm, filarial worm, hook worm. So these are the three important examples. And we can also cite one example from the plants. I'll give you a hint. It is a root parasite, tobacco plant, root parasite, tobacco plant. It is a round worm, animal parasitizing a plant, round worm. See, animal not dependent. Animal is harming the plant. That's what I'm saying. Parasite. It is a parasite. Yes. Yes, guys. Who will I? Meloidy gyne. Yes, you're right, Preeti. Answer is correct. First time Preeti has typed the correct answer. Yes, it is Meloi. Meloidy gyne. Meloidy gyne. The spelling Meloi. 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 D. Meloidy gyne. Meloidy gyne in cognitia. Meloidy gyne in cognitia. In cognitia. Meloidy gyne in cognitia. It is a root parasite. A round worm. Root parasite. Meloidy gyne in cognitia. On tobacco plant, it is a root parasite. Achha, already now, the moment I give the name, na, most of you can recall because you have done that in botany. Yes, you have done that in botany. 
मेलोई डी गायनी मेलोई डी गायनी इन कॉग्निशिया मेलोई डी गायनी इन कॉग्निशिया सो दीज आर एग्जाम्पल्स एंड विद दैट वी कम टू देंड ऑफ दी फ्लैट हेलमेंट फ्लैट वर्म एस्थेलमेंट्स ऑल्सो दैट्स ऑल एस्थेलमेंट्स सूडोसिलोमेट मस्कुलर फैरिंग्स मस्कुलर फैरिंग्स मस्कुलर फैरिंग्स ओके गुड बच्चो नाउ येस एम ए आई आई विल एक्सेप्ट दैट पी बी सी मधु येस आई एम ऑलवेज एक्सेप्टिंग द शॉर्ट फॉर्म सो नो प्रॉब्लम ओके डन नाउ लेट मी गो टू द एनिलिड एनिलिडा एंड ट्राई टू फिनिश एनिलिडा बिकॉज यू नो very less information is given about anelida and some very important thing happens in anelida you know that certain very important thing happens and what is that first time metamerism metamerism very very important point metamerism segmentation true segmentation is started then they are having a true coelom these are u coelomates u coelomates u coelomates u coelomates okay there uh, <clears throat> you know most of the examples we will be giving with keeping in mind the earthworm for example we will say that their uh, you know uh, their uh, circulatory system is uh, uh, closed type there is one example like leech has open type also but we will most of the example we will give keeping in mind the earthworm so yes this example only respiratory system respiratory system moist cuticle moist cuticle very good next one circulatory system circulatory system yes come on that is closed type closed type can you remember what the what what type of uh, of circulatory system circulatory what type of circulatory system is present in asthelmins yes i heard it right it is absent there is no circulatory system in asthelmins but here it is present okay very very good then uh, <clears throat> excretory system excretion excretory system is by metanephridia advanced nephridia meta nephridia three type of nephridia present in the earthworm you know that these are septal integumentary and pharyngeal very good three type of nephridia okay then beta nervous system the nervous system is represented by paired ganglia okay so every segment has got a paired ganglia every segment has got a paired ganglia every segment has got paired ganglia every segment has got paired ganglia and how it is connected it is connected by solid nerve cord it is connected by solid nerve cord and this nerve cord system is on their ventral side you know that uh, they have a double ventral and solid nerve cord so this is you see from the top but if you see from the side how it look like so there is a uh, these are the paired uh, you know paired ganglia paired ganglia okay and uh, they form a nerve ring nerve ring again paired ganglia here and in every segment they have a paired ganglia connected by you are seeing from the side connected by double ventral okay let me make double now maybe the diagram is not proper but it should be technically proper diagrammatically it is not proper because from the side you don't see like that okay so <clears throat> hope you understand double ventral and solid it is ventral side this is dorsal side you know that animal this is the animal and this is the dorsal side this is ventral side double ventral solid dvs double ventral solid nerve cord and they have got paired ganglia paired ganglia every segment has paired ganglia and these have segmental nerves okay you remember we have made such diagram in earthworm 
If you don't remember, don't worry. No props, no props. Okay. But every segment has paired ganglia. So, ye ho gaya. excretion, ho gaya. reproduction. Reproduction, let's talk about their reproduction. Reproduction, okay. So, they are hermaphrodite. They are hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite, except, except. They are hermaphrodite. Who is dioecious in them? Who is dioecious? Exception. Come on. The one that live in water. Come on. Exception. They are hermaphrodites. No. Ramya. Wo hai uh, circulatory system ka exception. No. Not herudinaria preeti beta. Wo circulatory system ka exception hai. That is an exception of the circulatory system. Yes, you are right. Sanjana Reddy. This is Neris. Yes, you are right. Neris. Very good. Exception here is Neris. I'll write with blue color. Okay. Neris. Nilu color. Neris. This is a dioecious. Dioecious. Most of them are hermaphrodite, but Neris is dioecious. Neris is dioecious. <coughs> Okay, beta. Understood? Understood? Fertilization. Fertilization is how it is external. External. Okay. Here also, except, except, dash. Except, dash. Okay, then fertilization X and development. Development is both direct as well as indirect. Direct and indirect. Direct and indirect development. Fertilization is external. External except fertilization is external. Most of them are monoecious except nereis. And here also exception is nereis only nereis okay so nereis me kya internal fertilization okay uh, we can leave this point internal fertilization nereis just remember dioecious nature in nereis that is enough okay so uh, better let us keep the things lesser just remember fertilization external hai you know that if you remember earthworm, it occurs in the cocoon, but outside the body. Here you can write the example of an earthworm. 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 Inside the cocoon, outside the body. Inside the cocoon, outside the body. And development can be direct or indirect. Okay? Now, <clears throat> this guy called Nereis. Nereis. Two things about Nereis to remember. And the first thing begins from M. N means Nilu. This is, it live in aquatic medium. It live in aquatic medium. And the second thing to remember about Nereis is that it is dioecious. So S will help you separate sexes. Sexes are separate. Sexes are separate. Okay. So sexes separate. Sexes are separate. And here... It is aquatic, aquatic medium. And because it is living in aquatic medium, so who is helping in uh, locomotion? Yes, you are right, parapodia. It has got parapodia, parapodia, parapodia. Each segment has a pair of parapodia that help in locomotion. Uh, you have got a diagram of this in your notebook, uh, in your textbook. NCRT textbook, a diagram of Nereis is given, segments of Nereis, and uh, they have shown the parapodia, parapodia of Nereis. Okay, uh, these are paired appendages, paired appendages. Remember, I'm not saying jointed, I'm saying paired. And uh, I, I think that you can easily identify what I'm trying to show now. You can easily identify what I'm trying to show. Yes, these, what can be these? You can easily identify what I'm trying to show here. These are unjointed, made up of chitin. 
Yes, what we can call them? They are made up of chitin. Chitin, yes, they are made up of chitin. And what we can call them? We can call them. Oh, no answer coming? Yes, they are called. No. Lateral appendages, TK. What I am drawing this chinna chinna. Parapodia, the ye hoge parapodia. This is parapodia. This is parapodia. Lateral appendages. Yes, those are setae. Good. Those are setae. Setae. One seta. Chitinous setae. Chitinous setae. Very good. But so I hope uh, you have done enough about this. I'll quickly revise Anelida. And with this, I complete my uh, today's class. I will quickly remind you, uh, uh, you know, just revise Anelida. Anelida, uh, metamerism present. First time you have got metameric segmentation, metamerism two segmentation, and they are u mates. Okay, first time a true serum can be seen. Uh, again, they become hermaphrodite, but Nereis is dioecious, and this is an important, important, very important point. Uh, I'll put most important for this one. Respiratory system moist cuticle, circulatory system closed type. First time circulatory system appear and that to closed type and excretion by metanephridia and nervous system by paired ganglia. Okay, paired ganglia, paired ganglia plus what? Plus DVS nerve cord, DVS nerve cord, double ventral solid nerve cord, paired ganglia. This is about their nervous system. Then uh, fertilization is external and uh, example earthworm. In the earthworm, it upper, uh, occurs inside the uh, cocoon, inside the cocoon outside the body. It is external, which will remind you. Then development can be direct or it can be indirect. Direct here example, uh, example you can say they have got small juvenile, juvenile you can say juveniles. Okay, right. Uh, so that's all about this and example is very easy example already we have given nereis hirudinaria 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 it is a leech it is a blood sucking leech it is a sanguinivorous it is blood sucking it is blood sucking blood sucking sanguinivorous it takes blood meal okay hirudinaria already given you Nereis or Nereis, okay. Then Fretima, Fretima, Posthuma. This is the earthworm, earthworm. Fretima is earthworm, okay. So these are enough examples of uh, Anelida. And Bacho, that's all about this Anelida. Yes, anyone? Uh, open type. Ha, huh. leech, man. Na? Yes, open type of circulatory system in leech. Bacho. <clears throat> So, I think with this keenness, if you uh, read the textbook and uh, whenever someone is you know, highlighting the points, that first time you have got dioecious organisms uh, starting from uh, this phylum and uh, <clears throat> from Ascalminthes, okay? Ascalminthes, first time. Also, first time you have got metamerism and true coelom starting from Anelida, like that. So, this will help you. And also uh, revision, no way we are revising. Uh, some tricks also can help. Like this is aquatic parapodia for swimming, for swimming, and uh, S for separate sexes. Okay, and well, that's all about this one. Uh, let's see how you perform in the weekend test. I want everyone to perform their most optimum, and most optimum means that maximum uh, your errors can be two means minus ten. In geology, your score should be minimum, minimum, minimum 180. But I will be giving you five choices. You can leave five difficult questions. So that after that choices, there is no hope. There is no other option left. So promise, 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 promise. If anything come from NCRT, if anything come from NCRT, we will do it. If anything come from NCRT, we will not leave it, we will not make a mistake. We will not leave it, we will not make a mistake. If anything come from NCRT, 
we will not make a mistake we will not leave it of course we will not make a mistake anything come from now exam the syllabus to up to need area hai phylum need area basis of classification and need area porifera and need area that's it three things basis of classification porifera need area for this test नेक्स्ट टेस्ट में पूरा आ जाएगा अप टू मॉलस का काइन ऑर्डर में था ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट बच्चों गॉड ब्लेस यू बाय टेक केयर ठीक है ओके बाय बाय मणिपुर का एक और था मणिपुर का मैंने आपको फाइल दिया था मणिपुर का इसमें नहीं आ रहा है ओपन चेयरली नो नो ये तो इसका था आप मणिपुर का पेपर है ना आपके पास सॉफ्ट कॉपी हाँ एक मैं कंट्रोल एस कर लेंगे उसमें मैं देख लूँगा मैं मैं देख लूँगा ये ब्रो फॉर सेल फॉर सेल टू डेज बैक बाइंग एमेजोन फ्लिपकार्ट एंड द मोस्ट एडवांस्ड विद नॉइस कैंसिलेशन ए एन सी एक्टिव नॉइस कैंसिलेशन प्रॉब्लम इज प्रॉब्लम इज इट इज ड्रॉपिंग फ्रॉम माई इयर है इट इज ड्रॉपिंग तो अब दिस वोट बी दैट मच यूजफुल फॉर मी दिस मस्ट बी ओके हेलो हाँ भाई मैं लाइव ओके ओके अरे क्या नाम है उनका YouTube लाइव चल रहा है बंद कर दीजिए उसको सौरभ सर का फोन आया है कोई उसमें पॉपअप आ रहा है क्या देखने का अच्छा अच्छा इतना फास्ट कैच कर रहा है 